Have you ever wondered how bullet trains can whisk us across countries at such incredible speeds? It's a question that sparks curiosity in many of us. Bullet trains, these sleek aerodynamic miracles of modern engineering, are more than just a mode of transport. They're a testament to our ceaseless drive for progress, a symbol of how far we've come in redefining the boundaries of speed and efficiency. In essence, a bullet train is a high-speed train that operates at speeds often exceeding 200 miles per hour. But it's not just about raw speed. Bullet trains offer an unprecedented level of comfort and convenience, making journeys that once took hours, a mere fraction of that time. They're not just fast, they're smart too, equipped with state-of-the-art technology that ensures a smooth, safe and enjoyable ride. But why are bullet trains so important? Well. In an increasingly interconnected world, the ability to move people quickly, efficiently, and safely has never been more crucial. Bullet trains offer an answer to this challenge. They've transformed the way we travel, turning long, tiresome journeys into short, comfortable commutes. They've made it possible for us to live in one city and work in another, hundreds of miles away, without the inconvenience of long travel times. But it's not just about convenience. Bullet trains also have a significant impact on our environment. By offering a fast, efficient alternative to air travel, they help to reduce our carbon footprint, making our journeys not just quicker, but greener too. And let's not forget the economic impact. Bullet trains create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and foster a sense of connection between cities, regions, and countries. They're a catalyst for progress, a driving force behind the growth of cities and nations. So, when we marvel at the speed of a bullet train, we're not just admiring its ability to move at breathtaking speeds, we're celebrating human ingenuity, our relentless pursuit of progress, our ability to redefine the possible. The marvel of bullet trains isn't just about speed, it's about how they reflect human ingenuity and progress. When discussing bullet trains, we must start with the pioneer, the Japanese Shinkansen. Emerging in the mid-20th century, the Shinkansen, or the bullet train as it is often called, revolutionized the way we think about rail travel. Conceived during Japan's post-war economic boom, the Shinkansen was a daring leap into the future. It's not just a train line, it's a symbol of Japan's resilience and technological advancement. The first Shinkansen line, known as the Tokaido Shinkansen, began service in 1964, connecting Tokyo and Osaka. It was an engineering marvel, slashing travel times between the two cities from six hours to a mere four. Today, that journey has been further reduced to just two and a half hours, with the trains reaching top speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. The Shinkansen's design is as distinctive as its speed. The sleek aerodynamic shape is inspired by the Kingfisher, a bird known for its high-speed dives into water. This design not only reduces air resistance, it also minimizes the loud tunnel boom experienced when a high-speed train enters a tunnel. But the Shinkansen isn't just about speed and design, it's also about safety. Despite its impressive speeds, the Shinkansen holds an unparalleled safety record. Since its inauguration, there have been zero passenger fatalities due to train accidents. This is a testament to the advanced technology employed, including the automatic train control system, which automatically adjusts the train speed without relying on the driver and earthquake detection systems that can stop trains at the first sign of seismic activity. Beyond the technology, the Shinkansen is also famed for its punctuality. The average delay? Less than one minute. It's a level of precision that is a source of national pride and a benchmark for railway systems worldwide. The Shinkansen is not just a train, it's a testament to Japan's technological prowess. It's a symbol of the country's dedication to precision, safety, and innovation. And more than half a century after its first journey, the Shinkansen continues to inspire and influence high-speed rail projects around the globe. From Japan we move to Europe, where high-speed rail has become a way of life. Let's begin our journey in France, home to the Train à Grande Vitesse, or TGV. The TGV debuted in the early 80s and has since become an emblem of French innovation. With speeds reaching up to 200 miles per hour, it's no surprise that TGV has revolutionized travel within France. But it's not just about speed. The TGV offers a smooth ride, comfortable seating, and of course an unforgettable view of the French countryside. 
From France we traverse the English Channel via the Eurostar, which connects the United Kingdom with mainland Europe. The Eurostar is more than just a high-speed train, it's a testament to human ingenuity running through the Channel Tunnel, one of the world's longest underwater tunnels. With a top speed of 187 miles per hour, the Eurostar whizzes through the tunnel, transforming a journey that once took days into a matter of hours. As we head eastwards, we arrive in Germany, home to the Intercity Express, or ICE. The ICE is the backbone of the German rail system, with its sleek design and speeds of up to 189 miles per hour. But the ICE is not just about speed and efficiency. It's about providing a quality travel experience, with spacious interiors, quiet cabins, and even onboard dining. These high-speed trains have not only made travel across Europe faster, but they've also transformed the very nature of travel. No longer is it just about getting from point A to point B. It's about the journey itself. It's about watching the world whiz by from your window, seeing the landscape change from the French vineyards to the English countryside to the German forests. It's about the thrill of speed, the comfort of the ride, and the convenience of the journey. Europe's high-speed trains have made cross-country travel not just fast, but also incredibly scenic. Now, let's journey to China, home to the world's largest network of high-speed trains. China's foray into high-speed rail has been nothing short of remarkable. It all began in the early 2000s, and by 2024, it's a sprawling network, stretching over 22,000 miles. That's more than twice the circumference of the Earth. At the heart of China's high-speed rail network are two notable giants, the Faxing and the Maglev trains. The Faxing trains, meaning rejuvenation in Chinese, are aptly named. They have rejuvenated the way millions of people commute across this vast country. These trains can reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest conventional trains in the world. Then, there's the Maglev, a train that seems more at home in a science fiction novel than on an actual railway. This train levitates above its track, propelled by magnets. It's a breathtaking sight, a train that floats and flies at the same time. The Shanghai Maglev, the first commercial Maglev line in the world, can reach top speeds of a staggering 267 miles per hour. China's high-speed rail network is not just about impressive speeds though, it's also about scale. It connects more than 200 cities, serving a population of over a billion people. From the bustling metropolis of Shanghai to the ancient city of Xi'an, these trains have brought the country closer together, making travel faster and more convenient than ever before. But China isn't stopping here. The country has ambitious plans to expand its high-speed rail network even further. By 2030, it aims to have a network covering 39,000 miles. That's enough to go around the Earth almost one and a half times. China's high-speed rail network is a symbol of its rapid development and global ambitions. As we look to the future, the question arises, what's next for bullet trains? Imagine a world where bullet trains are not just faster, but also more efficient, more accessible and more widespread. Future advancements in bullet train technology are set to make this a reality, and they're closer than you might think. Magnetic levitation, or maglev, is a technology that may shape the future of bullet trains. This technology levitates trains above the tracks using powerful magnets, reducing friction and allowing for even greater speeds. Currently, the fastest maglev train in operation can reach speeds of 600 km an hour. But future trains could potentially exceed this, turning what we consider fast today into the slow of tomorrow. Yet, speed is not the only area of innovation. Energy efficiency is another key aspect of bullet train development. Future trains could harness renewable energy, use regenerative braking systems, and employ advanced aerodynamics to reduce energy consumption. These innovations would not just make trains faster, but also more sustainable. Moreover, bullet trains are set to expand into new countries and regions, bringing high-speed rail travel to more people than ever before. Countries like India, Australia and the United States have all shown interest in developing their own high-speed rail networks. This expansion could revolutionize global travel, shrinking our world even further. Of course, these advancements aren't without their challenges. Developing and implementing new technologies is a complex, costly process. 
but if the history of bullet trains has taught us anything, it's that human ingenuity and ambition know no bounds. We've already achieved so much, and there's no telling what we could accomplish next. While we can't predict the future, one thing is clear, the journey of the bullet train is far from over. The next chapter in the story of high-speed rail is being written as we speak, and it's said to be a thrilling ride. So, hold on tight, because the world of bullet trains is moving full steam ahead.